Hello, I'm Mark with CSAntonio.com, and today we're learning the blend tool. Number one, how to blend shapes. The most basic thing you can do with the blend tool is to blend one shape into another across a specified number of steps. Draw a circle, hold Alt plus Shift, and drag it across the upper to create a duplicate. Now select both shapes and go to Object, Blend, Make to create a blend between the two. Illustrator will produce a default blend, which might not be what you want. So to edit it, keep the blend selected and double-click the Blend Tool icon in the toolbar. Select Specified Steps and change the value. If you tick the Preview checkbox, you'll be able to see the effect that the value has on your blend instantly. Be aware that blending works on both filled and stroke shapes, as well as those using transparency, making it a really versatile tool. Number two, how to use the specified distance option. The second way to blend is via a specified distance option, which does exactly what you think and spaces out steps by specifically chosen distances between each object, rather than by defining a particular number. This can be useful for making perfectly measured diagrams for bar charts, for example, where you need you know, elements to be equidistant from one another and to adhere to a predetermined grid. Number three, how to use smooth color. A smooth color is a slightly different option and creates a smooth, filled blend between your two objects. This is useful when looking to create particularly intricate gradients for like, you know, cloth-like effects. Number four, master the replace spine option. The blend tool becomes really interesting when you start to use the Replace Spine option to create blends on a path other than a standard straight line. Draw the shape or open the path that you like to blend to follow and select it along with your previously made blend. Now go to Object, Blend, Replace, Spine. You will see that the blend is now attached itself to your new curve, making it an interesting effect. When editing your blend, be mindful of which aligning option you choose, align to page versus align to path, as both will give significantly different results. And finally, number five, be aware that you're not just limited to blending two objects. You can create a blend using as many different shapes, colors, and transparencies as you can think of. Now remember to subscribe or visit our site csintel.com for more tutorials.